hello and welcome back to my channel today I'm going to demonstrate how to paint a rose I'm going to do uh, two paintings the first one I was so um, uh, I chose very intense colors and I just I wanted to do um, a lot on the petals and then um, at the end I, I found that it was too much uh, so I decided to make another one this is the first one I started with wetting the paper and adding a, li a little bit of pigment um, at the top where the petals are um, I added very very diluted uh, red and then um, where the uh, leaves are I added a wet on wet sap green and then when it was dry completely I started painting the petals uh, this is cadmium red I use mostly cadmium red but then I wanted to add more uh, shadow or to make some of the petals uh, a little bit darker so I used alizarin crimson like here for example this is a lizard crimson um, uh, as a second layer I, after I added cadmium red I wanted really to do a lot of things on the petals so I kept adding more pigment To even darken it a little bit more, I used uh, some blue with uh, mixing it with uh, alizarin crimson to get this very dark shade. Um, actually, I think that the uh, the mistake that I hated in this um, uh, rose was uh, these stripes I added on the the, the large petal uh, on the left. I am using for the stem sap green mainly. I added a little bit of uh, red to it because usually when you look at uh, the rose, you're going to find that uh, there is a little bit red uh, in the in the leaves and in, in the stem.
to darken to darken uh, the uh, the green on the leaves I also used uh, a little bit of uh, ultramarine blue to add to this herb green اتناشر شهر ونص يعني خلاص لو جبت دول مش هحتاج So this is the second uh, uh, version after, after I looked at the, uh, the first painting I thought it was uh, overdone so I, um, I just uh, uh, draw uh, the same flower, the same rose again and I started with the same way uh, wetting the paper and then adding a little bit of uh, red at the top and some uh, green at the bottom just uh, all over the paper and I waited for this to dry before I start working on and details for all this rose I only used two colors for the petals all of them I used only a permanent rose with different saturation, different um, level of, of water in the pigment so to get the very light uh, spaces and the very dark spaces for all these petals I did the same thing only permanent rows and sometimes of course to have a darker uh, darker edges I, uh, I did a second and third and maybe fourth layer of the same color
I found that using only one pigment and very diluted and light uh, colors on the petals I found that, that this was um, prettier and better than the first one and here I am yeah, I'm using also sap green for uh, for the stem and the leaves I added a little bit of uh, the permanent rose to the first uh, to this uh, very near leaf the one that is near the petals because usually there is um, color ref reflection and also like I said before uh, usually there is uh, a little bit of, uh, of red uh, in the stem and um, the leaves I preferred to uh, um, uh, to paint the uh, leaves very light, so um, like like they say, less is more. So I've, I found that this was uh, prettier than using heavy um, or darker pigments. Uh, this is it. Thank you for watching. I hope that you liked uh, uh, the video today. Thank you so much.